I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see that on Facebook there is a trailer for Clifford the Big Red Dog which is like, oh my god, who didn't grow up with the Clifford stories? I read the books, pretty sure there was an animation series that I grew up watching, absolutely loved it. Um, what I didn't realise is that it's the final trailer, which is surprising because I'm like, this is the first I've heard of it, I know the movie's coming out and it's on my watch list. Um, so it's going to be really, really interesting. Um, I've seen like some of the images for it and I'm like, holy crap, Clifford is red as red hell. Like, did he roll around in tomatoes? That's scary. Like, I get that Clifford's the big red dog, but like, holy crap, how red do they want to make this dog? Okay, anyway, so let's turn that volume up and let's see the trailer. And either way, I know I'm still going to see it, even if I'm a little too old to be the target demographic. Just saying. One night. One night. Really? How big is he gonna get? That depends on how much you love him. John Cleese. <laughs> Clipper, how did this happen? <laughs> oh, I hate when trailers do that. Just don't put the opening scene like that. Who? That's the big red. Oh, that's Keena Thompson. <laughs> You know I'm a little better. Why don't you take his temperature? Where? In the animal temperature taking place? Mm. Oh, no <gasps> How has he not popped that yet? <gasps> ah, there we are. It's all over the internet. There's a 10 foot dog in Upper Manhattan. <sighs> It's very modernized, isn't it? Five thousand dollar reward for the capture of the big red dog. People don't like things that are different. There are no other dogs like you. What's he doing? I think he's trying to be small. I'm on fire. What do we do? We have to save him. I'm in. We're in. Really? someone who is so full of love ah, he's sleeping make you feel like you could do anything your dog just saved my life i'm getting out of here you're not on a drive how hard can it be i feel like that's an every kid's movie now i'm grounded for life aren't i you and me both but is that what they filmed him in the he's heights like an animal he is an animal i'm talking about him what Oh, the little boggy deal. Okay, so it's been forever since I've paid attention to Clifford. Um, it's streaming on Paramount November 10th, which is just under a month away. It's going to be in cinemas. I know in Australia we are getting it in cinemas. Yes. It does look a little, like, very friendly for children. Um, and I know that they're playing at the heart shoots of, you know, reusing existing IP. IP to try and bring back, you know, older audiences to get them to relive their childhood while also encouraging the younger generation to get in. Um, and I feel like like they've got that balance, but at the same time, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm still going to see it. Like, I want to see it because, like, this is my childhood. This was my, this was my puppy. This is my puppy that I love. It's the only dog I'll ever actually love. <laughs> yeah, long story there. Um, but I feel like, like I said, it's been forever since I paid attention to the Clifford series. So either there are details that have changed or there's details that I've completely forgotten. Um, it obviously looks very modernized because technology and technology is being used. And I don't think in the, the original series, the book series, whatever, they had iPads and tablets and whatever else. <laughs> Um, though I am pretty sure that Emily did get in a bit of trouble thanks to Clifford. Um, though I don't remember her living with an uncle, I thought she was living with her parents. So that's probably going to be a few, you know, changes um, that's going to be maybe not so obvious to a lot of us, but also 
may be obvious to a few of us. Um, I now actually want to go find the, the TV series that I grew up on and just rewatch that because I doubt I can find it in Clifford books, um, which is very heartbreaking because I don't even know where my copies are. Um, but you know, I feel like it's going to be... So everyone's seen Tom and Jerry, the, the movie that came out this year, last year, or something like that. I don't know, I kind of forget that 2020 exists and people constantly, uh, constantly remind me. That's what I feel like this is going down. It's going down that Tom and Jerry route where, you know, they're using that mix of animation with, um, with live action and they're using the mix of, you know, trying to get the childhood imagination beyond further than what we have, which is great because encouraging imagination is awesome, even if we do sit in front of screens how many times a day? <coughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, and I say that because I grew up in front of TV screens and I'm still watching them, except they're smaller. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. Um, I can't wait, but also at the same time I'm very hesitant, but I also know that, you know, the target demographic has obviously changed because I'm no longer that five-year-old little kid who's looking up to a big red dog. I'm now a 20-something year old who's afraid of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm kidding, but yeah. Um, like I said, it's a long story. But um, yeah, no, it's interesting. It's a Paramount release. Um, like they they own the, the studio company, which means it's going on their streaming service, getting on stream, uh, getting on cinema release. Um, but no, I'm very intrigued about it. Um, I don't know if I'll have negative or positive things to say about it when I see it. But either way, I'm going to see it. And then I'm learning to try but fail at encouraging my siblings to go see it, knowing full well that they haven't grown up on the Clifford series. Um, yeah. So I think that's all I've got to say. Um, <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video and let me know um, whether you're actually going to go see Clifford or not, or if you grew up like me on the series and kind of a bit on the fence about it. Anyway, see so you